Welcome to video part 8, Document Menu Actions, in this series of eDocs support tutorials. To access additional functions for your document, go to the Documents option from the main navigation menu and click Documents. Here you will find some actions that will help you to get the best out of the eDocs system. To assist you in locating any of your existing documents, you have access to a document filter, allowing you to refine your list by document name, job, or status and clicking go to see your filter results. Additionally in the actions button, apart from the expected options of editing and printing, you can also do the following. Copying your document is useful if you are about to create a document that is particularly similar to one you've done previously. Copying will allow you to create a new document from an existing document of any status with all of the original content ready for you to simply make your adjustments. Give your document a new name, optionally assign it to a job and you're ready to go. Keep in mind too that there is also a document template function in the system, which you'll hear more about in a moment. Moving a document will allow you to assign it to a job, whether it's to an existing job or you'd like to create a new job, which can then contain this document as well as any other related documents you create for the same job. A job is like a folder for containing related information, whether it be for a specific site or a specific client. The way you set up your jobs is completely up to you. More information about jobs can be found in video part 11, Jobs. The rename function quite simply allows you to rename your document. Whilst the name of a document doesn't have any effect on the actual document content, it does allow you to find it again in the system when you go looking for it. Renaming a document could sometimes be due to a typo, or it could be as a result of you wanting to change the naming convention you're using to list your documents. Either way, this simple tool allows you to make these changes if needed. For businesses who have multiple identities, eDocs can cater for this. The Change Business Profile option allows you to switch the assigned business profile that is associated to your document in case you've assigned it incorrectly, affecting the Choose from Address Book function within the document wizard, as well as the business logo that will display on your final document. If you are from a business that does certain documents on repeat, the Savers Document Template function will save you a great deal of time. Once you have created a document, as shown in video part 2, create a new document containing all of your standard information. You can then use this function to create this document as a template. By doing this, you will only ever need to enter or edit the information that needs to be customised in each new copy of the document, as all of the standard information will be populated automatically. More information on this can be found in video part 9, Document Templates. Deleting a document using this delete function will move the document to your deleted documents area. Your deleted document will remain in the deleted documents area for 180 days before being permanently deleted from the system. Learn more about deleted documents and the automated deletion process in video part 10, Deleted Documents. To learn more about eDocs, continue to watch the other videos in this series, or if you need to speak to someone, contact your local master builder's office.